Hello friends, this video on squares and square roots part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So what are perfect squares? So this is perfect squares are integers multiplied to themselves. So whenever an integer is multiplied to itself, it gives a perfect square. So you, you think of any example, you think of an integer like 1. So when 1 is multiplied to itself, you get 1 square. So this is a perfect square. 2 multiplied to itself, you get 2 square. The value is 4. So 4 is a perfect square. 3 multiplied to itself, 3 square, that is 9. So 9 is a perfect square. So let's take some bigger numbers like 10 multiplied by 10 gives you 10 squared, which is 100. So 100 is a perfect square. If you have something like, um, let's say, 800 multiplied by 800, what does it give? It gives 800 squared, which is 640000. Zero, 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 zero. That is 6,40,000. So this is also a perfect square. So whenever you talk about a number which is obtained by multiplying an integer with itself, that number is called a perfect square. Now the question is, why, are we, why have we given this name perfect square? Is it that not all numbers are perfect squares? Because we have so many numbers, right? So here we see some examples like 1, 4, 9, 16, 100. 6,40,000 and so on. But don't we think that every number is a perfect square? No, that's not the case. Only some numbers are perfect squares. In fact, that is why we have given this special name to these numbers. So let's see what are non-perfect squares. That means those numbers which are not perfect squares and where do they lie? So now if you, if you very closely observe the perfect squares from the beginning. So when I say beginning, I would start with one. So when you see the list, you would see that there are many numbers in between those perfect squares, which are non-perfect squares. So non-perfect squares lie in between perfect squares. So the question is, how many non-perfect squares exist between two consecutive perfect squares? Okay, so we will talk about the number later. First, let's see that do they exist between perfect squares? Let's look at this. So here, all those numbers which are written in black, they are the perfect squares. Like, let's start with squaring the smallest possible whole, I mean, uh, natural number, which is 1. So when you square 1, you get 1, which is a perfect square. The next possible integer would be 2. So when you square 2, you get 4. So what about 2 and 3? So 2 and 3 are missing. So 2 and 3, they are non-perfect squares because we have squared the two consecutive integers and the result that we have obtained the results are not consecutive like when we square one we get one but when we square two we do not get two we get four so what happens two and three gets missed why are they missed because they are not perfect squares so there is no such number which when multiplied to itself gives two so when i say number i'm talking about integers similarly when you square three you get 9. So what happened to the numbers between 4 and 9? Like 5, 6, 7, 8. So they were missed. So these numbers which are getting missed in between, they are nothing but the non-perfect squares. So one more interesting thing that we observe here is, as the value of the perfect square increases, like earlier it was 1, then 4, then 9, then 16. So as the value of the perfect squares are increasing, do you notice something that the number of non-perfect squares are also increasing? Like initially between 1 and 4, there were two non-perfect squares, right? Between 4 and 9, there are four non-perfect squares. Between 9 and 16, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 non-perfect squares and so on. So basically, as the value of the perfect squares are increasing, the number of non-perfect squares between them is also increasing. Now, do you think that a fixed number of non-perfect squares exist between two consecutive perfect squares? So two consecutive perfect squares could be 1 and 4, 4 and 9, 9 and 16. So how many non-perfect squares exist between them? So from this observation, you would see that between squares of numbers n and n plus 1, that is two consecutive perfect squares, there exists two n non-perfect squares. 
So if we let's say that the value of n let n is equal to 1. So if n is equal to 1 that means as per this statement between 1 and 1 plus 1 which is 2. So between n and n plus 1 that is between 1 and 2 how many non-perfect squares should exist? 2n that is 2 into 1. So there should be two non-perfect squares and when you look at this you see yes there are two non-perfect squares 2 and 3. So this formula is true. So let's check the same formula for some other values. Let's say for n is equal to 5. So if n is equal to 5, that means between the squares of numbers 5 and 6. So between squares of 5 and 6, that means between 5 square and 6 square, how many numbers, how many uh, non-perfect squares exist? 2 into n, that is 2 into 5. So there should be 10 non-perfect squares between 5 square and 6 square. So let's check here. This is 5 square, this is 6 square. So between 5 square and 6 square, we have these many non-perfect squares. Let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So there are 10 non-perfect squares. So this is a very simple formula which has been derived after observing this pattern. And this formula holds true for all the perfect and non-perfect squares. So whenever you have two consecutive perfect squares, the number of non-perfect squares between them would, will always be 2n. So you can put this formula and you can uh, you know, calculate how many non-perfect squares will exist between two perfect squares. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.